Pick any song of praises in your heart. As many people are suspecting the mighty blessings of God now. Sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords.
thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Turn to the person next to you. Could you see a little while there? My friend. I want to praise this my God. So that it will bless me. Tell your friend one more time what you just said. For the next few minutes. I want you to, I want all of us to give God the only thing he gets from this kind of service. Violent praises from our heart. Don't care who is looking at you. Let your voice draw like fire as you sing this song. Something like Don't be a gentleman before the King of Kings and the Lord of God. You clap your hands and you sing. And then as you are doing that, the miracle power of God begin to go from person to person. If you are ready, shout hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name.
Prayers to pray. Each prayer has testimonies attached to it. So don't joke with it. Don't even say, I think I've prayed this kind of prayer before. Pray it now while the whole of this place is surrounded by the angels of the living God. Say, I decree. Divine acceleration and laughter into my life. Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to decree. Decree divine acceleration. And laughter into your life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Good news. Testimonies. Locate me all around. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask for the good news and the testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Shout it with a tongue. Away my tears. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like that. Wipe away my tears. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. It's the power of God. Rewrite my family history. In the name of Jesus. I put your mouth and pray like that. Rewrite my family history. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As many people, as we allow their amen to be louder than the person close to them, as many people, 
Yeah. Who will shout unsanitized amen? Uncivilized amen. As many people as who do that, including those who are watching us on the internet and the satellites, as many people as who do that to these prayers, they shall be candidate upon common testimonies. As many people as who say amen to those prayers. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand there as a servant tonight. And I commit everyone hearing the sound of my voice now. All who are gathered at this meeting now. Father, there are people here who have been pushed to the wall. There are people here who have been wondering when will my deliverance come. There are people here that the enemies are already laughing them to scorn. There are people here that people have been questioning whether they have God or not. There are people here that are Household programs and household witchcraft have gathered against their lives. There are people here with satanic decrees blocking their ways. As many people as are here, Lord, you have asked me to ask for a present for each and every one of them. I ask for everyone presented here tonight. Any power that is challenging your peace, any power that is challenging your laughter, any power that is challenging your full scale job. Any part that has been stealing from you. Any part assigned to kill you before your time. Wherever that power is now, I command them to be arrested. Let them 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 be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Now, right there where you are, this is the individual one. Think in your heart. Any problem you brought here, don't see it out. Just think into your heart. Think into your heart. Now you now command that problem you thought about in your heart. You will now shout with a loud voice. Blood of Jesus! Problem. That's the prayer. When you say it once, you, now, you, you convert it to a machine gun prayer. Kill the problem. Kill the problem. Kill the problem. As you are saying that, the miracle. How God will begin to move from person to person. First of all, think in your heart what you want to kill. Think it very well. Are you ready now? Let your blood of Jesus roar like thunder. Open your mouth and pray! That's right.
Yes, it's happening now, it's happening now. Oh, it's happening now, it's happening now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Silence. Those who are here tonight, our and the enemy has been observing your face. In an evil mirror. In order to destroy you. Right there where you are. If you don't want it. The power of God is coming upon you. And their yoke is broken completely. Silence. You the problem in the brain. You the problem in the breast. You the problem in the heart. You the problem in the backbone. You the problem in the reproductive organs. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of close places. You are a stranger where you are. That body belongs to Jesus. It is the tabernacle of the Most High God. Therefore, you stranger in the body. Your time is up. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Baba, continue to lay your hands upon us. As we go into the anointing service, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say, God bless you. Let's open our Bibles very quickly. To First Kings chapter eighteen. First Kings to three persons, at least three persons. Could you see your courage in your meta? Say, I okay, will overtake them. In the name of Jesus. Can you prophesy? Tell three people. First Kings chapter 18. Verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. What was upon Elijah? The arms of the Lord. There is somebody here tonight. The hand of God shall come upon you mightily in the name of Jesus. And he guarded up his loins and ran before he had to the entrance of Israel. Elijah ran. 
overtook the chariot of the king and got to the location before the king. The, the king was on a chariot driven, driven by a horse. But the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah. He overtook the chariot. Turn back to 1 Samuel chapter 13. First Samuel chapter 13. He went in the Samuel, Uriopo. Verse 8. S A K Jo. First Samuel 38. He went in the Samuel, Uriopo. S A K Jo. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, David is the Lord of Uruwaupe. Shall I pursue after this troop? Here, if you look for who he be, shall I overtake them? Amen. And he answered him, O Tijalo, Uruwaupe, pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, recover all. I prophesy upon somebody else. You shall pursue your enemies. You shall overtake them. You shall recover what they are stolen. You shall pursue your enemies. You shall overtake them. You shall recover what they are stolen. You shall pursue your enemies. You shall overtake them. And you shall recover what they are stolen. You shall pursue your enemies. You shall overtake them. And you shall recover what they are stolen. Let your amen roll like thunder. There are people in our world who are tormented by wicked intelligent agents. There are people in our world who have never enjoyed their benefits. We're talking about recovering what the enemy has told Some people have never possessed what belongs to them, let alone the enemy stealing it. There are people in our world who have unrepentant and stubborn household wickedness pursuing them 24 hours. There are people in our world who cannot even locate the enemy. They know that it's the enemy, but they don't know what how to locate it. There are people in our world who work hard and work hard and pursue and pursue, but they see they never attain it. There are people in our world who have been converted to foot marks by the enemy. There are people in our world whose life have been caged by the enemy. There are people in our world who have been sitting for satanic examinations. There are people in our world that the enemy has been tormenting with terrible financial embarrassment. There are people in our world whose talents and virtues have been buried. There are people in our world who have alive but unavailable children. There are people in our world whose helpers have disappeared. There are people in our world who fight and fight and fight and get nothing done. There are people in our world who have to struggle and fight and struggle and fight to get a little bit of success. I have a message for such people and also for those who are here this morning. You will overtake those who are ahead of you. Your amen is not loud enough. I said, you will overtake those who are ahead of you. You will overtake those who are more gifted than you. You will overtake those who are more connected than yourself. 
You will overtake those who are more intelligent than yourself. You will overtake those who are superior to you. This is a serious matter. This is why you must not envy anyone or compare yourself to another. The fact that they are ahead of, ahead of you today does not mean that the story has ended. If they say, get on your marks, get set, go, the fact that somebody took up first does not mean he will win the race. John the Baptist arrived very late on the scene. But when he arrived, he shook the whole of Israel. Is your God will do the same thing for you. If you have been pitying yourself, stop pitying yourself. You will overpower every lion in your den. You will conquer by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You will paralyze the wicked in their craftiness. Didn't Elijah with his two legs overtake Ahab? Ahab was in a horse. Was he ran with his two legs and overtook them? I prophesy upon your life. God will restore your wasted years. You will overtake smarter people. You will overtake richer people. You will overtake wiser people. The despised shall become the celebrated. The last shall become the first. The servant shall become the master. The poor shall become the performer. And the zero man shall become the hero. The anonymous and the unknown shall, shall become the anointed. Listen to me. No matter how long it takes, your life will surprise your friends and shock your enemies. The story and history of Esther changed in 14 days. Fourteen days. One visitation from heaven. And all past sorrows are forgotten. The story of blind Bartimaeus changed within 24 hours. After 38 years of affliction by this pool of Bethesda, the story of the man by the pool changed within hours. There are at least 3,000 people here. Okay, who after this convention their story will change to glory. If you are among the letter, Amen, well, I tell you. Listen, whether Satan likes it or not, whether it's convenient for the enemy or not, listen, your history and story must change. It took only 24 hours for the nine month suffering of Job to be over. 
The Lord said, I should tell somebody here, listen to me this morning. Your expected change is coming. You will dominate those that are despising you. You will rule those who are laughing you to scorn. You will mesmerize those who are comforting you. Your life shall be a proof that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Now, this is it. If you want to pursue, overtake, and recover, you want to overtake those who are ahead of you. There are 20 keys. I'm going to run through very quickly. Before we close this service now. 20 keys for you to overtake. I've already told you what God wants to do. That I should tell you, you will overtake those who are ahead of you. Say, I will pursue and overtake. I will pursue. I will overtake. I will pursue. I will overtake. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Twenty keys. But before I share those twenty keys with you. I want you to rise up on your feet. Go to seven persons and tell them. Tell them with assurance. That my present level shall be the lowest in my life. I am going higher. Seven persons. Seven persons. Have your seat. A joke will buy. Do you understand that confession? It means that as you are sitting down there, whatever blessing you have now will be the lowest you are ever going to have. You are going higher. Twenty keys to overtake. That's it. Key number one. Get born again. You must surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. You must surrender your life to Jesus. Don't leave this arena. Without, without surrendering your life to Jesus. The Bible says, Whosoever is in Christ has become a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You need to get born again, thereby making God your friend. 
Oh, really? Sisters, what's key number one? Yeah, Let the sister shout it loud and clear. Brothers, what's key number one? Key number two. Never think or speak negatively about yourself. Never think or speak negatively about yourself. Because that will put you in disagreement with God. When God says, My thought towards you is of good and not evil, and you are thinking evil, then you are disagreeing with God. What is key number two? If you have been thinking or speaking negatively about yourself, you better repent now. Three. Have a divine encounter. All men of God in the Bible, everyone in the Bible who was ever to their generation at all, they had an encounter with God. Jacob had an encounter. History changed. Isaiah had an encounter. His story changed. Job said, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. So, but my eyes now see it. If God visits you, you don't need to pray for prosperity. It will come. If God visits you, you need to pray for healing. It will come. You need a divine encounter. I'm praying for somebody here. You, you shall receive divine visitation. You shall have a divine encounter. In the name of Jesus. Every power that is blocking your eyes from seeing God. Let those powers fall down and die tonight. In the name of Jesus. What's key number one? Key number two. Key number three. Key number four. Let your flesh die. The flesh is the greatest enemy in our camp. The Bible said the flesh profited nothing. Flesh has no profit. The flesh is the enemy in our camp, opening the door to the enemy. When you lose your temper, that's the flesh. When you are a lady at any small invitation, you pull down your skirt, you start fornication. That's the flesh. When you feel insulted, it's the flesh. When you are worried that somebody is gossiping against you, it's the flesh. When you are very proud, it is the flesh. When you begin to fight, physical fights, it's the flesh. That flesh must die. If you want to overtake, God gives power to people. But God is meticulous about who He gives His powers. As a father, no matter how you love your four year old son, you cannot give your four year old son a gun. 
It is too much power for his mother. If your flesh is still alive and you you do everything at any time, God cannot give you his power. This is a very serious matter. You are still drinking, you are still smoking the flesh. You are a married man still going about with strange women, the flesh. Let the flesh die. Five. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Six. Be a prayer addict. Let prayer become your oxygen. Seven. Be a Bible addict. Read your Bible every day, read it every time. Let it become part and parcel of your life. It is on record that in history it has been impossible to enslave a Bible believing people. So I've told you seven things now. What's number one? Number two. Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Number eight. Engage in purposeful fasting. Don't run away from fasting. Every believer is supposed to have at least one day in the week you fast. Don't be afraid of fasting. It does not kill. Fasting deadens the flesh so that the spirit can rise. Nine. Memorize scripture, meditate on scripture. Memorize scripture, meditate on scripture. I'll tell you the principles of overtaking those who are ahead of you. Ten. Do not compare yourself to anybody else. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are an original. So don't settle for being a photocopy. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Eleven. Focus on your potentials and not on your limitations. Focus on your potentials, not on your limitations. Twelve. Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Do things to please God. Don't try to please men. No matter what you do, you can't please everybody anyway. So the best person to please is the Almighty. First thing, learn to handle criticism. If you are criticized, no problem. Look at what they have said. Correct it in their eyes. If they are wrong, forget it. Let the criticism develop instead of discouraging. Fourteen. Be persistent. Never give up. Be persistent. 
Never give up. Fifteen. Choose the right relationship. Pray before you marry. Pray before, pray before you have friends. Because that could destroy your destiny. Sixteen. Discover your own destiny. Know why God brought you here. Discover your destiny. Seventeen. Conquer your fears. Let fear depart from your life. The Bible says, be careful for nothing. Don't allow fear to bury your faith. 18. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. And my team, be broken. Be humble. God will exalt the humble. But will pull down the proud. And lastly, ensure that you complete your deliverance. Because if the enemy is operating in any part of your life and you don't push the enemy out, it will affect you from overtaking others. Those are 20 keys to overtake those who are ahead. Jesus is here. And he's here to do great things. Let's rise up on our feet now. Rise up on our feet. And all eyes closed. Rise up on your feet and all eyes closed. But you see, beloved, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to plead with you to surrender your life to Jesus. There may not be another opportunity. Jesus is here. He wants to save you. So that you can pursue, overtake and recover. You have an opportunity now. But if you abandon that opportunity, God cheers away the hand he has for you and leaves you on your own. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just raise up your right hand where you are. And wave it at me like this. God bless you. I see those hands. God bless you. Don't be shy. That's why Jesus brought you here. Those of you raising up your right hand, take a bold step of faith. Just run quickly to the altar here. Very much of you are at the front and at the altars. I congratulate you. You've, act, you are, you've actually taken the most important decision in life. And I congratulate you. Just bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. For taking this very important decision. It is well with you in Jesus' name. The decision you've taken today shall be permanent in your life. No weapon from against you shall prosper. The Almighty shall arise for your sake. 
it is well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. The prayer we want to pray now is a prayer to pursue, overtake, and recover. We are not here to joke. We are here for serious assignment. Serious business. The first thing I like you to do is to lay your right hand upon your head. That head is a symbol of your destiny. You want to pray some prayers upon that head now. The head that you just lay your hands on. You will shout this louder than anyone here. Pulling down my head. You are alive. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Pray the second prayer upon your head. Any evil hand laid upon my head. Rust! Jonah! Rust! Jonah! Rust! Jonah! Three or times. Any evil hand laid upon my head. Lost. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. 
the third prayer. So my head. You are the symbol of my destiny. All eyes and shine. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this is a, if you brought water here for handkerchief, bring those two materials out now. If you brought them here, prayer. That water become a water of healing and miracles. That anchorship to carry the power of God. After the prayer now. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I commit the water and the anchorship unto your holy. Let them carry the fire of God. Let them carry the power of God. Let them carry the anointing of God. Let them carry the yoke breaking power of God. In the name of Jesus, let that water become divine antibiotics. Divine vitamins, divine medication. In the name of Jesus, let that anchorship carry the blood of Jesus, carry the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Now bring out your oil now. This is a good Raise it up. Is it not okay? Again, let your amen be dynamic. As I pray on this oil, it becomes the instrument of power, the instrument of breakthrough, the instrument of deliverance, the instrument that will bring breakthrough. When you use it to anoint your house, evil shall not enter therein. When you use it to anoint your business place, the business will begin to prosper. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. Let your spirit move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Let every particle of this oil become the blood of Jesus. Let every particle of this oil carry the fire of God. The angel that used to trouble the water of Bethesda. Let the same angel trouble this oil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I sanctify the oil. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Carefully open your bottle of oil. Carefully. And put a little bit into your mouth. Something is happening now already. Put a little bit into your mouth. Set my mouth. As encounter the anointing oil. As from today. Every sickness inside my body. Is dead. Is dead. 
As I anoint my mouth today, if you both give for all you to be lady, my mouth shall be larger. And the real Tony than the mouth of all my enemies. My mouth shall not kill me. My mouth shall bring me victory. In Jesus' name. A louder amen. Pour some of the oil on your head. The Bible said that I'm not test my head with oil. And my cup run it over. Thank you, Jesus. So my head. You are the symbol of my destiny. As I anoint you today, my head shall be lifted up above the enemies round about me. My horn shall be exalted. My horn shall be exalted. My horn shall be exalted. As I anoint my head today, in sanity shall not be my Lord. In the name of of Jesus. A louder amen. Apply the oil on your two hands. Yes. Set my hands. You are the symbol of my labor. Beginning from now. Every good thing I touch shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Any chain upon my hand, binding my prosperity, I shake them away. I shake them away. I shake them away. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now anoint your legs. Your legs. Your two legs. Your two legs. Aha. Something is happening over there. Oh, As an evil serpent. Has been troubling this sister for a long time. You are actually married to that serpent, unfortunately. But as we took that oil, the serpent is a serious trouble. And it's coming out. Set my legs. You are the symbol of my walking. My legs. You will not take me into danger. You take me into my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. My legs. You take me to my place of destiny. Wherever the soul of my feet shall tread. The Lord shall take it for me. Thank you, Jesus. A louder amen. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, apply the oil to your hand and put it where the infirmity is. Don't worry whether anyone is looking at you. If you need to put your hand inside your clothes, better don't be shy. Do it. While you strike the iron, while the iron is very hot. So do that now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The great physician is touching you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now that you have anointed yourself, this is it. You are in a position to pray a very powerful prayer. Rise up on your feet as you pray this powerful prayer. Let your voice roar like thunder as you pray. Everybody remain standing as you pray this prayer. Anointing the praise the Lord. Call upon me now. In the name of 
Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Use your right hand to the altar here. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray that the hand stretched towards this altar shall become the hand of power and strength. It is written that you to the his will raise up your here comes your help. you 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 in loud amen. In louder amen. In louder amen. Thanks for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with every I make channel's video whenever available. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video with your friends and family. Bye.